Hey, Moondog here. Welcome back to Moondog Reviews. And today I have in my hand a V5 EDC flashlight. Now, I know this looks like just your run-of-the-mill typical EDC flashlight, but this has something a little different. This is a transformer. Amazing. A booby trap that actually catches booby. Kind of like that. Uh, here, let me show you what this can do. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at what you get in the box and we'll test it out and take a closer look. This is the flashlight box and contents. If it looks a tad generic, it is. There's no logo on the box, though it is sold under a couple of different brand names like Beruit and another one that looks like somebody button mashed the keyboard. All right, let's take a closer look at the flashlight itself. This is the V5 EDC light, and as you can see, it is pretty small. It's about a little under four inches long. Each of these squares is one inch and less than an inch in diameter. The overall light is uh, small and compact, though it's about the size of a typical double uh, A size rechargeable light. I've, I have seen smaller and I have I own smaller but it is still a compact light as you can see here. Uh, some notable features are, are that it is fairly undes nondescript on the outside. There isn't there aren't many features and um, it's pretty smooth uh, to a fault. In fact uh, it's almost sl too slick. There are, isn't anything to grip with other than the clip. So fortunately the clip is there, but uh, I'd be concerned um, in cold weather or wet weather that this doesn't give you enough of a, of a, of a handhold and it might be a little too slick. But um, that is what it is. It is. It also makes for a very minimalist overall look. There is that um, attached clip there, and it is designed um, pointing backwards, so to speak, away from the uh, the uh, emitter. Um, this allows you to clip it onto a hat and go hands-free that way. And of course, the other way you can go hands-free is simply by clipping this onto your lapel or a pocket and turning this very unique pivot point on, uh, on the tube. So now you have a right angle light, which you could, of course, as if you have this clipped on to your pocket, uh, it's facing forward uh, so that you can go hands-free. Now, one thing I should point out is this pivot point, when they, when they manufacture this, this is really, these edges are really sharp. Um, here, I actually cut my thumb accidentally when I was trying this out. So just be mindful that when you do get this, you, you definitely uh, need to be careful. I would um, take some fine grit sandpaper and just hit those edges there because, yeah, uh, potentially dangerous. So I would give this to a child and uh, or to an adult I really care about <laughs> because without letting them know about uh, that sort of dangerous edges over there. Otherwise, um, it seems to be pretty well put together. Uh, the it has a tail clicky that has it's rubberized and it is magnetic. You can see here on my steel ring here, it sticks on. Oops. Well, the ring is a, a not as not a flat surface. So. Um, but it will stick onto a filing cabinet or the underside of a steel hood to allow you again to go hands-free. Um, as I was mentioning, the clicky there, this activates the unit, double click, turns it on, and it does have mode memory. So um, it remembered that I had it on low mode and it also has a side green indicator for the amount of charge left in the battery. And you can do additional clicks to change the power setting gets quite bright and again goes back to low. Um, we can see that it does have mode memory. If I end it low, long press turns it off, double tap, turns it back on, go to, and if I move it up to high, turn it off, turn it back on. Again, it's on high mode now. So it does have mode memory. And there are some side LEDs here 
Three taps turns the side on. First, there's a couple of modes here. There's a bright white light. There is a blinking white light. There is a UV mode, and this UV, if you have something that's glow in the dark, or perhaps uh, current, you want to check currency to make sure that it is not counterfeit, you can use that, this blue light for that. There's a red light, a red blinking light, and a red and, oh, sorry, and a warm white light, and a red and white signal light. And again, long tap turns that off. So that is, um, those are some additional nifty modes with this particular flashlight. And it is rechargeable. Um, the tail cap, if you unscrew that, you will reveal a USB-C charging port. And uh, let's just try that out now. There we go. As you can see, it turns red. It'll turn green when it is fully charged. Uh, so let's do that. I'm going to leave this out uh, to fully charge, and then we'll get started testing it out. Fully charged, I let the flashlight run for 30 seconds to warm up the battery before testing. And while this is not a scientific instrument, I did calibrate it to a known 100 lumen light. And based on my calculations, I was getting 508 lumens, which is pretty much the 500 the manufacturer claims. Here we have the V5 in its lowest power mode. The camera, of course, is compensating for the low light. The hotspot is about three and a half, I'd say three, three and a half feet wide at uh, 10 feet. And it is a definite drop off into the spill, which is very faint, almost like a ring. Let's cycle up to higher power modes. That is its maximum brightness. And uh, naked eye, it is fairly bright. The uh, spill, um, the hotspot is much more, uh, much less of a contrast with the spill. And let's just test the mode memory. And yes, it did go back to its low mode once I had it, since I had it at its lowest mode last. All right, let's test out the side light, bright, blinking, this is UV, red, red blinking, warm white, and red and blue blinkings to a police siren mode. white. All right, let's turn this off. We can make it out of the tree there, 15 feet away. The wall behind there, that is 50 feet away. And we can illuminate the trees up in the hill, that is 60 feet away. And we can make out the telephone pole there, 120 feet away. Industry standard drop tester from one meter or three feet. I'm gonna drop it from six feet twice onto rocks and dirt. So we'll see if it still works. IPX5 means a product can withstand low pressure water sprays from any direction. So I'm going to adjust the nozzle on my pressure washer and test that out. I fully recharged the unit and we're going to see how long it can run at its highest brightness mode. Well, this is going to take a bit of time, so let's do a time lapse. The beam starts to noticeably fade after about an hour, and it gives up the ghost just after 100 minutes. 
All right, so what do I think of the V5 EDC flashlight? Well, I, there's a lot of features I like about this. It's really plenty bright. It's got a pretty good, a pretty surprisingly long runtime. And I like the fact that it has those side lights, uh, especially the UV light if you uh, have to deal with any currency nowadays um, to avoid counterfeiting. That's a nice little feature to have. And I also very much like uh, the magnetic uh, base stand. So those are great features. And of course, the fact that it can turn 90 degrees is super cool. Uh, but, and here's the big but, um, I can't recommend this, even though I like a lot of the features, because of the construction of this this hinge here. It is razor sharp, uh, and they really should have buffed this down. Uh, it's really not safe, and uh, you can see this picture of my thumb. When I was testing this out, I cut my thumb on this thing, so that's a safety issue, and uh, that's why I, I really can't recommend this. I, if they could fix this um, in a version 2, this would be uh, totally, almost totally uh, recommend. The other thing I would have liked them to do on this is put a little bit of texturing uh, on this. It's, it's, it's uh, aside from the clip, there really isn't much to grasp on, and this can easily slip. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of texturing would be nice. Again, that that part isn't a deal breaker, but just this this sharp edge here, yeah, yikes. Uh, but for for if for whatever reason you're interested in picking this up, I'll include product links in my full written review on my website at MoondogIndustries.com. So if you are going to purchase this, please use that link because it helps support this channel. Um, and another way you can support this channel quite easily is just hit the like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell because by doing that you are telling the algorithm that this is good content that this is something you enjoyed watching and that other folks like you who haven't seen this video um that that the algorithm should recommend this video to them so anyway i hope you appreciate my brutal honesty about this and i hope you got something out of this video moondog out Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to MoondogIndustries.com.